Hello everyone, Nubkex here and welcome to the Heroes of the Storm PTR. We're taking a look at Lieutenant Morales, who has received an absolutely massive rework to her. Absolutely massive rework. So, first thing you're going to notice, by the way, this is the PTR, so it should be out in about a week and a half. Um, yeah, so there you go. Uh, as you'll notice, she doesn't have mana anymore, she has energy. Uh, your W is free. Your grenade is free. I believe both of your heroics are free as well. But your mana beam will drain 6 energy per second. Or your healing beam, excuse me, mana beam. Your healing beam is going to drain 6 energy per second. Um, when you haven't used your healing beam for 3 seconds, you'll regenerate 6 energy per second. So, yeah, it's pretty intense. It's a very different way of playing her. Apart from that, the basic abilities are mostly the same. I think they reduced the cooldown on her safeguard. Uh, they reduced uh, a few different bits of cooldowns, I think. Gonna safeguard him. And here we go, this is what the healing looks like. Let's try a grenade. Grenade looks a bit different as well, which I think is pretty cool. Okay, let's heal up our buddy there. Alright, we can cancel this out. Oh, actually, they did change, uh, whatchamacallit. We're gonna give him a safeguard. Should be good, should be good. Oh, I knocked him away. Whoops. Um, your Caduceus Reactor, while you are channeling Healing Beam, you will regenerate 2% of your max HP per second. Um, okay, at level 1 we're going to get Caduceus Feedback, so basic attacks against heroes will give 4 energy. Um, so just help us fill up our energy a little bit quicker, which I think could be quite nice. So we're going to see how that goes. Does it drain our energy if we're not... No, it doesn't drain your energy if you're not, like... Ooh. This is a little bit scary, isn't it? If you're not actually healing someone, it won't drain your energy. So you can have it up and like it, it won't matter too much. So that's pretty good to know. Okay. Okay. It's very interesting though that like your abilities don't cost mana anymore. So you can kind of just use them quite a lot. I feel like they made... Oh, my game just froze. That's really not very good at all, is it? Uh, what just happened? Okay, we just disconnected. Oh, we're reconnecting. We're back. Hey, we got first blood while we're disconnected. That's next level. All right, I should stop uh, healing, and uh, yeah, we can regenerate our health. So you're obviously going to regenerate health a lot less, more dependent on your heals. It's quite interesting. Oh wait, Diablo is doing this? Okay. I suppose Kalthusad could help? I don't know. I'll stay here to uh, heal up here, uh, or to clear this. Let's use our grenade for some damage. I'm scared. I'm fine. Let's do some spins. Hey, he missed. Nice. All right, at level four, we got some options. Trauma trigger. Taking damage below 40% health gives 30 armor. Okay. Uh, 60 second cooldown on that. Cellular reactor. Consume 30 energy to heal you for 40% of your max HP. Ooh, that could be good. Blast shield. Enemies hit by displacement grenade. Give two energy. You get a shield to 8% of your max HP. Wow, stacking eight, uh, five times? Wow, that's pretty cool. We're going to go for cellular reactor here to just burst heal ourselves. They got quite a lot of... I mean, I'm just going to die. If they want me to die, I'm just going to die, haven't I? Um, so, I mean, we'll grab this to try to keep ourselves alive a little bit. The desperation. The Get out of here, you jerk. Jaina just died to... Minions? Question mark? Not sure what happened there. Okay, here we go. Cool. Hello. Hello, friend. Will he die? He will! Eventually he will die. Excellent. Oh, we could still heal we can still heal minions, right? Yes, we can. Good. So we can heal ourselves by healing our minions. That's next level strats again. Heal your minions to heal yourself with your energy. I like it. Alright, let's heal up our buddy here. So again, you want to be more considerate with this, right? Because your energy doesn't start coming back for three seconds. There we go. Boom. Energy's starting to come back. So you do want to be thinking about it, I guess, a little bit more. Let's knock him away. Like, you want to, you don't want to be like, oh, I'm going to heal him for a second. Oh, I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to heal him for a second, turn it off. Because that way you won't be regenerating energy. You want to be much more considerate with how you use it. Which is cool. Which is cool. I want to get in and heal. Licka. Alright, let's try that. There we go. Heal him up. Safeguard removes all slows from the target and reduces the cooldowns. Ooh, that could be really nice. We've already grabbed that. Improves the, increase the duration 50%. That's really good. Allies affected 
uh, by safeguard is stunned, it gives more armor on the duration is paused. Oh, well, that's cool. Unfortunately, people just died. Um, right let's go remove slows. They've got loads of slows with Jaina, so that makes sense, right? Uh, with uh, with him dying, there's no way for us to contest this, so he just leaves that one, unfortunately. So yeah, basic attacking is Morales. Obviously, at this build, with Caduceus feedback, it's gonna matter more, which is kind of interesting. Let's pop our thing. Ooh, good shot by him. I should have uh, done that on myself as well. We should also heal him. Though. That's gonna hurt a little bit. Am I not healing? There we go. Now, good. Which will also heal ourselves, which is good. Let's keep healing him up. He's very determined to dive in there. Which might not be the best idea. Ooh. Okay. I was hoping we can maybe interrupt her. I'm gonna regenerate some energy here. Alright, let's make our way towards the top, methinks. Okay, cool. And you're gonna get all of our energy back as we go. Now, obviously, you don't have that just passive healing from Caduceus Reactor, though. So that will have a bit of an impact. Uh, do you want Stimdro? Not really. We probably go for Medivac here in this game. Could be fun. Chromie's vision of us, that's okay. Well, I can't go forward to that, anybody. Alright. They've got us spotted. I'm actually gonna pop my heal on myself. I think I'm dead, as far as I can tell. Yep, I'm super dead. Nothing I can do about that. We should get the thing, though. Mm, nope. Oh, he's gonna get interrupted. Oh, well, luckily we got some kills, so we might win still. We got the Abathur hat. Ooh, they do have a bee guy, though. He missed that. Oh, nice one. All right, good. Level 10. I think we'll get Medivac, and we can try to Medivac out of the Chromie Temporal Loop. That's the plan. Let's see if it works. It's Medivac to here. Yo, Regulus. Yo. Yo. Okay, never mind then. Bye. Alright, we're gonna get this anyway, which is huge. Getting that level 10 early, definitely big, big help there in terms of getting that, which is nice. Okay. Okay, do we get any other options to try survive against cronies? <laughs> no cleanse, by the way, in 7. No cleanse anymore. Uh, this is all grenades. You get a uh, hitting two heroes, reduces the. Ooh, cooldown. Uh, deal less damage. Ooh. Deals more damage over two seconds, up to loads of bonus damage against shields. What's up with that? That's crazy. I'm scared, by the way. Oof. I'm healing as much as I can. It's not enough. I'm gonna die now, too. I didn't have the healing on him for the whole thing. It was pretty dumb. That would have, you know, helped a lot if I'd actually healed him for the whole duration. Uh, we should heal minions so we can heal ourselves up with our energy. Okay, do that. Good. Go, minions. You are overpowered. So much healing. Good kill in the bot lane. I like it. We might as well spend our energy to clear this, right? I don't see any reason not to. He's scared of me, which I like. Cannot have my regen globe. <laughs> Hello, Chromie. Right, let's not get yeah yanked in by her. That would be pretty annoying. Get out of here, Chromie. <laughs> oh, that's quite a lot of fun. All right, they're all here. They're all friends. They're all hanging out. Okay. Um. Okay, so we've got grenade stuff. So we're gonna grab the one that makes enemies do less damage because it's that's really awesome. Oh god, more lag. Oh no, not good, huh? We should be fine. Oh, didn't work. Fuck, I timed it. I pressed it too late. I'm an idiot. I pressed it too late. I pressed it too late and I got myself killed. But yeah, we can totally dodge that if I'm not an idiot. All right, we'll try that next time. And then, like, we won't die needlessly. Um, okay, increased hiding beam range. Ooh. Healing, fall above, energy, it heals more. Um, okay. Safeguard gets a second charge. That's pretty nice. Oh, he's going to die to the junior. So we're not quite going to win this fight. Without me being there, there wasn't much chance, to be fair. Okay, so this is going to be us cursed. Oh, I feel like such an idiot. I could have totally dodged that. 
Um, I had my puppy like just walking and constantly walking in and out, and I was just thinking about that, and then totally borked it up. Bork, bork, bork. It's pretty dumb. It's pretty dumb. All right, we're gonna be cursed. Let's try to survive the curse. Are we gonna be cursed? He's really slow doing it. We might be okay. All right, team. Let's get in behind him. Oh dear lord. I need to heal myself with my energy. There we go. Oh, there's a lot of them there. I'm scared, mommy. I'm dead. <laughs> there's a lot of them. <laughs> that is two burst mages right there. That's two of my worst enemies. We might still get a kill. We actually won the curse, which is amazing. He's not going to be able to... Uh, maybe he can kill him, actually. Yeah, you can't... You, you could have kept chasing. I mean, you're going to die running away. The enemy team is cursed. You could have done it. I mean, you're going to die either way, right? Oh, uh, maybe not. Wow. Nope. Wow. <laughs> oh, no, there we go. He's dead. <laughs> oh, he could have. He could have done so much more. I can't really talk in this game. I've made at least three stupidly huge mistakes. Oh well. I think we might go for the uh, extended range. That does sound quite nice. He's ringing that bell again. Ooh, the puppy. gonna hurt a lot. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, we need energy. I've got none left. Oh, nice kill. Nice kill right there. I'm very tempted to to make us uh, a medivac behind them. Okay, cool. All right. <clears throat> Boss is an interesting call. I'm going to grab this Ascended Care. What's the new range on this? Much nicer, actually. Yeah, much nicer. Oh, God, no. All right, I'm going to recover energy here. Hopefully, your team will be all right. Everyone's obviously on the boss. Okay. Again, really sorry about all the flunking in the background. There's nothing I can do about it while I'm recording. I'll try sort it out afterwards for the next video. So they're obviously on the boss. Don't think we can do anything about it. Uh oh, I'm super dead. Rip me. I'm going in, team. Oh yes, there we go, that's what I wanted. Oh, I want to say in all chat. That was such a terrible idea, it was amazing. <laughs> I just got my entire team killed. I'm just biding time for a boss to do keep damage. That's all, you know, I'm just biding time for keep damage. You know, you know how it is, guys. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. I knew there's no cancel button. Once you once you click it, you're stuck. There's no cancel button. You might tell that I've never played Lieutenant Morales because she was before the probably the most boring hero in the entire game, with no real gameplay to speak of. She's still pretty much like that. We should be able to stop him. The question is, do we want to? Going in alone, team. That's not cool. Bruh. Bruh. Oh my god. They really want me. Oh god. I'm dead. They really wanted me there. I think we could have done it, like, if, if people had come, but they ran mid lane and stuff. So that I probably should have pinged that I wanted to uh, medevac in there actually. Uh, in hindsight, <clears throat> oh god, oh rip! 
that could have maybe worked out. Now this might be game over for us. Oh, what a disaster. What a disaster. The clone rang out. Yeah, yeah, it did. Uh, that sucked. I think we probably could have pulled that off. That was pretty intense there at the end. Um, dang it. Dang it, anyway. Um, so yeah, they're gonna get, like, level 20 and stuff. Nice positioning debate. <laughs> Luckily, they're super slow. They're all gone the wrong way, so that's okay. I just don't think I'm gonna buy J KT. <laughs> They'll work out that they can destroy the keep eventually. B guys forging ahead. Oh, look at that! You can hear like a sound. That's cool. Why is Diablo up top and not here? Feels bad. Rip. We just lost the savable keep. No. I'm scared. He missed. Where am I? Am I dying? I'm dying, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna grab this. Ha! Huh. Get away from me. I can heal you! With my extended range! Ha! It's truly amazing. Oh god, you died so fast right there. I didn't even notice. I was too busy making sound effects. Okay. Alright. I mean, honestly, they've obviously made her more interactive. I don't like this hero, though, even still. But I do I do appreciate what they've changed with her. They've made... I, I What, in my opinion, was a very bad hero. In terms of just gameplay experience, just super boring. And super annoying to play against, you know, just in, in dumb ways. They've made a very binary hero. I think a lot more interesting in terms of the fact, you know, she's got energy. I think that's cool. Uh, you know, just being cooldown based, I think that's cool as well. Um, the talent choices seem a bit more interesting. I think the fun fundamental gameplay, for me at least, is still incredibly boring. Especially compared to other supports. But, but, they've made it better. They made, they've made boring better. So that's, that's nice. Oh, rep. Okay, that's probably game over. Oh, he's got a phylactery, isn't it? Doesn't he? I think that's what it means. If he has it, he should use it. So I'll do this for some damage. There we go. Does he have fe Yeah, he does. He just doesn't know. So is it... It doesn't matter for the bosses. That's why it would be nice to use it and stack it up again. Uh. All right, Siege, Siege Giants, it's all on you guys. It's all on you. That a problem. Shall we see who Tribute up top, doesn't matter. What matters is that boss. If they take that boss, they win the game, which is why Kel'Thuzad being dead kind of hurts us a lot. Uh, if we get level 20, there's a cool uh, talent that could turn this around for us. Yeah, he's not gonna phylactery. Okay, that's game over. We just lost the game. Uh, what we could have done was, again, if we, we need a KT to use phylactery, then we could have potentially used safe zone. When we exit Medifac, they're protected from all damage for two seconds. We could maybe have turned around with that. I'm trying to get in to help him. Uh, why does it not work? Hello? What the fuck? I think the button bugged out? I pressed that like three or four times. I'm pretty sure I wasn't pressing E. I might have discovered a bug there. I was trying to press the button and it, it didn't work. So that's super weird. But we did just get two kills, which is fantastic. Which means that it's not game over yet. We should actually be able to kill this boss. That really ought to... I mean, that's a situation where it really ought to be game over, right? Uh, oh shit, he's gonna die. The greed. <laughs> Dying for nothing important. No! No! My god, that, that's super frustrating. A, a lot of things in this game have been super frustrating. I made some dumb mistakes. Um, but that one, I'm, I'm almost 100% sure I pressed the ore button at least three or four times and it would not cast. Does it have a minimum range? That might be what it is. Now I'm thinking about it. I'm pretty sure there's there must be a minimum range on that one. That's the only explanation for why that didn't work, because I did press the button several times. Alright, All right, we're gonna port Kelty's out up here if needs to be. Here we go. Mm. Could we make something happen? Any potential for plays? It doesn't look like it, actually. Hmm. 
Any medivac plays. So we've got protected now. So yeah, protected for two seconds after leaving medivac. We can maybe pull it off. Like just absorb her Jaina Ring of Frost. It would be kind of hilarious. What's the range on this, by the way? Oh yes, there's a minimum range. Look at that, that red thing. Oh shit. God damn it. Just I'm such a noob. Uh-oh. It's flying behind. Come on, kill. Ah, oh, too slow. I'm trying to heal myself. I am healing myself. Oh my god, maybe it's not game over. Maybe it's not game over, team. We just survived, we got two kills. You want to push core? Oh, that's so risky. We have to go through an entire keep? Against the boss? Okay. Go for it. YOLO, go for it. Sure. We don't really have all that much siege damage, but sure. Oh my god. Please stop standing in it. Oh my god. There we go. Finally. Okay, rep team. Alright, nice. <laughs> oh, well, he's returned, so there's that. Give him armor as well. That's all I've got, though. Go, dropship, go. I'm gonna die. Fuck. I'm protected, though. Hype. Rip. Rip. Could have saved him. And uh, the boss gonna kill Core. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Bit of a clan missed <laughs> a game. Oh, my God. Uh, hopefully an insight into morale is nonetheless... Uh, hopefully an insider into morale is nonetheless. I think it's an interesting rework. Like I said, I feel like it makes a boring, a very, very boring hero uh, a bit more interesting. Um, I mean, it was difficult. They had a lot of stuff that could just dive us and things like that in this game. We didn't really have anyone that we could actually heal in a valuable way. Uh, as opposed to, you know, like a classic, like something like a Zul'jin, you know? Uh, but still, um... I mean, she's still Lieutenant Morales at the end of the day, and I feel like if you hate the hero, you're still going to hate the hero. If you like the hero, you might be a bit frustrated because they've made her single little niche thing a little bit more complex. Uh, probably if you're like kind of middle of the road, like you, you kind of, you weren't mad on her, but you wanted to like her and you kind of like the basic concept, you'll probably really enjoy the hero then. Um, it looks like you're gonna have more options, more gameplay baked in. So yeah, if you kind of like the hero but found her a little bit too simple before, she should be uh, kind of more interactive now. And I think that's probably overall a good thing, though I could see this rework being kind of controversial. And yeah, that is, thanks for watching. That is that. All right, there we go. Next up, uh, again, if you haven't checked out other videos, I'm doing all the reworks. The next ones I'm going to do, I'm really looking forward to Jaina and Chromie. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.